I'm actually having a better day, <laughs> hair day today. <laughs> like, okay, you guys won't believe this, but my hair before was extremely damaged. So I'm surprised that it's gotten to this state. I know since my hair was dead, it's never coming back to life. I'm under, I'm aware, I'm, I understand that. But it just feels and looks a little bit healthier than it did before. So if you guys want to know what my secret is, comment and like this video. It's the hardest thing to go light after having dark hair, especially if you have permanent hair dye on your head. It is so hard and expensive and I understand and I told you guys in a previous video that I did this blonde by myself. I don't know what kind of blonde this is, but we'll roll with it for a while. I am probably going to have Sharona do my hair. I really, really, really want her to get me light. Um, I've seen her work. I love, love her, her work so much. So yeah, that might be a upcoming video. Who knows? We'll see. Okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. I'm excited to share this story time with you guys. This is my first story time, so please bear with me. I just hope you guys like it. It's all the best. My story time is about my chin lipo, and I will give you guys a quick view of what um, what was done. Oh my gosh, I should grab my picture. I'll be right. This is not the most flattering picture but this will give you guys an idea of what my face looked like before my lipo surgery so let's really get in there so that is what i looked like um and this was this was month okay so this was four months before my surgery before my lipo surgery so that's what I looked like I hope you guys can see this it. is what it looks like it's been since August so it's been about six months now this is what it looks like here so you guys can see I have some definition there really really liked it he definitely went in and did his thing um this is what it looks like from the side and I had a a genetic if you will chin or double chin if you will this is what it looks like from this side so he definitely did his thing i ended up going to brent cook and i will link their instagram and their website down below in the description bar so you guys can see it so i went to him and he was the sweetest sweetest surgeon ever he really answered all of my questions um, and I was even able to, a f weeks later, I ended up getting something like a little pimple on my incision area and he ended up answering his call. It was during the weekend and he was kind enough to prescribe me something. So I ended up taking those antibiotics and it cleared up nicely. I healed up really, really nicely. I went in and he was amazed. So let me tell you guys my story time and what prompted me to get um, this performed. I wanted to change that about myself because I didn't like how it looked. My neck was so connected to my chin that it was almost unflattering to see my side profile. And I just didn't like it. I did not like how it looked. So I wanted to get lipo done. I looked at different places. I googled the best place and I came across Cook Plastic Surgery. I ended up going in for my consultation and I wanted him to basically see what he can do for me. I wanted the kind of chiseled jawline. I think that's very cute, very nice. So I told him what I was looking for and he told me whether it would be possible to perform or not. So he said he definitely will go in and make um, my jawline more defined. I really like that and so he was kind enough to do that for me. 
and he said yes we'll get you on the books and we'll get you in so when i went in it was it was may is when i went in for my consultation my first consultation and then i scheduled my appointment four months out so in august was when i went in for my surgery and i will tell you guys all about that um and yeah so i went ahead and i made my payment before my surgery date it was about three over three thousand dollars for that procedure and they go in with a tool and just kind of break up your fat and then they suck it all up so i ended up getting some time off from work i let them know i'm getting surgery done so i ended up taking wednesday thursday friday off and so i had five days to kind of recoup recover so the day of my surgery i did not go into work so it was the wednesday I woke up so i ended up having my friend drive me so thank you if you're watching this love you but i ended up having her take me to my appointment so the day of my surgery i ended up having her take me got checked in went into the room with one of the nurses and she gave me two valiums to kind of calm my nerves remember i'm sitting there and you know i'm starting to feel it and for some reason i don't know why but i went and they had these kisses and these kisses were nothing like i've tasted before i don't know what it was but they just tasted so rich and they were a little cold so they just tasted even better i don't know like i can't even explain it i know it's weird i'm weird for this but it's just something that i probably will never forget but getting a handful of them and i'm sitting there eating them until i'm ready to go back i get taken back and my friend ends up leaving so i get taken back to this room that is very open there is a chair and obviously all of the tools so you know i am cool with it i'm like mm, whatever you know i lay down and i'm laying there i'm laying there I'm covered completely with these heavy blankets or towels they had on me they were very weighted and then i'm laying there and so my head gets covered I, um obviously from like my nose up from like my eyes because the light is so bright they wanted to cover my eyes so i don't open them and i think i felt it at one point like moving up before they started and so like i was reaching over all of these <laughs> heavy blankets to kind of pull it down because I started seeing very bright lights. They were like, no, 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 no. You know, because everything is sanitized. So they didn't want me touching any. What he did first was obviously, you know, I'm feeling the Valium, so I'm not caring really. This is like kind of, it's kind of like, honestly, when you're at the dentist and you're super scared to like get the needle and stuff like that. I know I am. They give you laughing gas. That's pretty much what it is. And so he is telling me that he is going to be giving me shots around this area because i took the valium it did not bother me so i said sure but he wanted to warn me so um he's giving me like 20 shots honestly i don't know how many i didn't count but he gave me a bunch of shots from i believe from up here down so i felt nothing from like the bottom of my nose around and down after he gave me all those shots he let me chill for a second and then he started to go in so he made an incision obviously i didn't feel it but i know that he made an incision and the tool that he used i did not see it but i felt it so what they do first is they break up your fat so that's what he did and i don't know what tool he used but he went in and he's breaking up the fat and it feels like if a dentist is working on like a really tough tooth you know like taking it out or something it just felt so so like rough and hard and i'm like is this really what fat feels like i feel like it's like fluffy and but no it didn't feel like that at all so what he ended up doing was breaking up a lot of the fat so that's what he did was break it up and then he went back in with like this vacuum kind of like machine so he ended up sucking i mean i feel like my neck just looks skinnier but um he ended up sucking all of that out and stitched me up and i was done i mean this took not even 20 minutes he ended up prescribing me some medication some anxiety medication and some medication for pain 
and I ended up taking it to my pharmacy and I went home. The first day was all right. It wasn't too bad. Once it started wearing down, it just felt like sore. It didn't really feel like I needed my pain meds really. I think I'm pretty good with pain. So I ended up just taking a few Tylenols. I didn't really need the pain medicine. Um, one thing that they did provide me with was a and I hated this thing. I had to wear it for like a week. Maybe it was a little bit longer, but it was a chin strap. And so it was white and it, you just tie it around your, your face there. And it's supposed to hold everything. After you get liposuction, you're supposed to kind of just hold that loose skin up. It doesn't start drooping down and stuff. So that's what I did. And oh my goodness, it was so uncomfortable. I couldn't sleep with it. I couldn't eat with it. It was just so uncomfortable. I did actually even go out in public with it on. <laughs> Healed it pretty quick. After a week, I went back in and he looked at everything and he was like, wow, like you are healing up great. You're doing a great job taking care of yourself afterwards and stuff like that. So I will also say two things. Be mindful of this. Now, you may not be someone who experiences this but i was someone and i still am someone who is experiencing this i don't know why it is um but actually like where the incision is i think you guys can see it like it just feels like a ball for some reason i don't know it's a question that i did have was um when did like my uh when did i start feeling my neck i started feeling my neck again <laughs> six months afterwards is when like right now i feel it there are some places that I'm like wow you know that feels weird but for the most part I feel it this all I could not feel for like four months at least at all keep that in mind as well obviously your nerves are coming back together so you are going to feel that tingliness so um and the other thing to be mindful of I don't know if you guys can see them but for some reason and I saw another girl talking about this, so it is a thing. It doesn't happen to everyone, but it does happen to some people. It's happening to me and I don't like it. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but I get these little bumps. Like, I don't know, can you guys see it? Like I have like bumps right there. Um, and I just get them along my jawline. And I have them right there and then I'll get them down on my neck too and it's so frustrating like I don't know why but it is a thing like for some reason after having chin lipo some people do get these little not breakouts but they're just like little tiny pimple type things dots uh bumps whatever flesh bumps and I don't know why, but I actually have them too. So I'm going to look into getting rid of them and then I'll make a separate video. If I can find a cure for that, I will let you guys know what it that is. That is my story time, you guys. I'm so happy. I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time. I've had people ask me about it because some people have, you know, wanted to look into also, it. I do want to mention one thing and I do want to shout them out for this, but with a, I, th I believe with any surgery or any cosmetic procedure that you do get done there, you get a free facial. So I ended up getting a free facial. Also, I went there on one of my days off and it just felt so relaxing for a, an hour. But that is my story time about my chin lipo. If you guys have any questions, place them down in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.